Today I'd like to demonstrate how easy it is to connect one of our V2 Autogen controllers to any electric start generator. At the back of the unit we have 12 connectors. Connectors 1 and 2 are for powering the unit. In this situation we're going to use the generator's starter battery. So connector 1 to plus positive 12 volts. Connector 2, which is the earth, will go to the negative side of the 12 volt battery. Now there are three main wires on any electric start generator that we need to find. The most important one is the kill wire. The kill wire normally is when we turn off our generator or we've got a kill switch that grounds the coils for the spark and kills the generator. For this generator it's this wire here. We're going to use connector 3 which is our kill wire. Connector 4 is for the, the starter, mode, starter mode of solenoid or relay. Usually when we have a 12 volt signal sent to the starter, uh, starter relay that's when the starter motor engages and turns the generator. In this case it's this wire here, so we're going to go connector 4. To the starter motor relay. Now connector 5 is an auxiliary port. In this case we're using uh, a signal going to the choke servo which is going to operate our choke. So that is connector 5, 5 is for choke, 6 is another auxiliary, 7 is plus 5 volts, 8 and 9 are auxiliaries again. Now connector 10 is used to sense the battery bank voltage. So when the battery bank volts, whether it's a 12 volt, 24 volt or 48 volt system, it, when it reaches 50% state of charge, we want the controller to sense that signal and start the generator. In this case, I've preset it for a 12 volt system. So I'm going to tap off this battery here just for the, the sake of this video. And connector 11 is the generator's 12 volt charging circuit. In this case, it's this cable here. This is coming from the coil pack behind the flywheel. This normally sends 12, 13, 14 volt signal through a blocking diode going to the battery just to start, just to charge the, the starter motor battery. In this case, we're gonna tap before the blocking diode going to the battery. So we, we don't wanna measure voltage coming from the battery as we have a blocking diode here. We need to measure the voltage going towards the blocking diode, and that is connector 11. So now that we're ready, let's turn on the power, wait for the controller to connect to the internet. Here's our mobile application that we're gonna use. So it's measuring battery voltage, we've got start and kill engine. Let's give it a shot. Another great feature within our application is a graph. At the moment it's live.
Thank you.